Hot. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi. Welcome to Brush Tips with Sherry and Aunt Terry. Hey. <laughs> we were just talking about the temperature. It's hot in here, and I can't fan myself with my palate because paint will fly. No. <laughs> that, would, that would not be good. I'm freezing, and she's hot. So we might have to have Aiden come sneak in and turn the It's all good. Air I'm down. always hot in here. It's Are okay. you sure? Yeah. It's the bright light. We only have 27 minutes. we got to hurry we up because it takes me four hours to paint. We're going to make a rush. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So today we are going to paint this um, sunset here. Aunt Terry loves sunsets. I do love sunsets. You love the beach. I do love the beach. She loves the warm weather. I do love the warm weather. But she lives here in Northeast Ohio. <sighs> yes. <laughs> so today no our comment. colors. <laughs> one day. One day you'll move. I will. Today our colors are phalo blue, black, white. We have this turquoise color, yellow, and orange. Now, Aunt Terry says she has a little trouble doing the sun, but I think that you're going to do great. We have different brushes, so we're going to teach her how to do her little sunshine today. Our brushes today are a Big Daddy brush. We have our Mama brush. That's what Nico calls it. We have our Teenage brush. And then our little baby brush. Our Nico brush. Our Nico brush. <laughs> Look at he, he comes up with the most craziest things. And we want to keep our brushes wet, so we have a cup of water back here. You might see me sneaking over and rinsing, um, and that's okay. So what we're going to do first is I always start with the yellow and the white. The big part. brush yeah, first? Yeah, big daddy brush. Okay. I always start with my lightest colors first, my yellows and my whites. Do you start with your yellows and whites first, too? Yes, because it's easier to go darker over light than light right, over right. dark. Yes. So I also will take a wet brush and just make an imaginary line. Do you have, is your brush, your brush is wet, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. I just make like a quick imaginary line where, and you guys probably can't see it at home, but what I do is I make the little imaginary line so that I know where I want my horizon to be. Then I'm going to grab some, just a little bit of white and I'm gonna mix it with the yellow. Super, super small amount. And then I'm just gonna put it wherever I want the yellow to be. And we have to put some down here too, into the water. So two spots. So it's above the horizon and below the horizon. Yep. We'll come in and we'll add like a little blue line in here just to separate. Good. And yep, and then just kind of feather it out a little bit. Clean. What I like to do is almost like clean my brush up into the sky. So I'll hit the side to get some of that paint off, and then just lightly, super lightly, feather it. It just helps kind of spread it out and not have these hard lines over here. Then I go straight into my orange. I don't rinse my brush in between the yellow and the orange, unless you want to. But I like to keep my brush with that little bit of yellow on it. And then I'm just going to lightly feather some in here. So I have too much orange on there for just lightly feathering. Yeah, super light. You can always add more. It's like baking. She also bakes. And you can always add more. You just can't take it away. Super light. And again, you can put this wherever you want it. it. If you don't want to have all this orange in there, you don't have to. Then I'm also feathering it a little bit into my yellow to help soften it up. And you see I haven't put any more paint on my brush. I'm just using what is on the canvas and moving it around. <laughs> Guess what I did? Did you trip? <laughs> I told her not to trip. <laughs> oh man. I think I jinxed <laughs> jinx people when I do that. Oh, so I don't need this white line here anymore. I should be blending yeah, it all together. Yeah, you're blend it all together. Oh. Mm-hmm. Way to pay attention, Aunt Terry. Well, you were tripping. <laughs> 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 we cannot start that rumor. <laughs> okay, that looks better. Okay. Good. I love it. Okay, 
Now we do have to rinse our brush because we're going to go into blue. Okay. And what happens when we <coughs> mix orange with blue, it just makes mud. So we don't want to make mud. So you go ahead and rinse your brush. Look, at, I'm like holding all of these brushes in my hand. Put them in water. Yes. They got to be in the water. water. They got to be in the water. <coughs> now we're going to take yellow. No, we're not. We're going to take white and mix it with blue. <laughs> it's kind of early. It's not early. Yes. <laughs> it's not, it's early. not early. <laughs> it's not early. But, but I'm not a waker up or a talker in the morning. What time is it? Oh, it's 11.30. Same was lunchtime. <laughs> I haven't even had breakfast. I almost brought you a sandwich. <laughs> I was like, ooh, and I saw your breakfast sandwich. Yeah, Nico? I almost brought one so you could take it home to Nico. Nico? Well, he keeps saying, like, when are we going to Aunt Terry's? When are we going to Aunt Terry's? I'm like, soon, soon. And then the next morning comes, and I'm like, crap, I should have arranged breakfast for him. Okay, light blue. We're going to start up here with light blue, white and blue mix. We're going to throw it on there. We're gonna, when we bring it into our yellow and into our white, or into our orange, we're gonna go soft. So super soft, you're just gonna loosen up on your brush a little bit. You don't wanna go real heavy on it. Perfect. Now I'm sure everyone knows you too from your Ticket Trivia Show, mm -hmm. because that's the best show ever. It is. Roger <laughs> is a hoot. No, it's you, Aunt Terry. <laughs> no, we, it's Roger. It's Roger, too. Okay, yes, we yes. love Roger, too. Yes. But we have people that watch it down in Florida, and we watch it, and we try to do the Ticket Trivia together, except we don't all know the facts about things. So it's helpful when we do have a group together. Sometimes we lose our book, and that's not <laughs> helpful either. <laughs> Most of the time I'm at work, like, doing a class or something, and I'm like, I'll get on. And then we get the class to participate, too, which is fun. So you're going to keep pulling down, too, and you're going to go lighter. The, the closer you get to the water, you're going to go a little bit lighter and just go super soft. What I do is when I get close to my sunset, I'll wet, see how much paint I have on my brush? Barely any. Right. So what I'll do is I will touch the, um, the water with it and then I just kind of touch my paint or my um, paper, towel. paper towel and then I hold my brush like this and then just super light. See how I'm just kind of teasing mm -hmm. a little tiny bit into the orange. Almost like you're just trying to get a little bit of like crumbs off of a counter. Like you just want to go real soft. Okay. So if you go real fast, then you know you break up the crumbs even more. So just kind of go super soft along that orange. We can always add more orange back in. if we have to <coughs> and then go to your imaginary horizon line here which i lost i don't even know where that's at it's anymore. okay we're gonna make a new one i'm gonna add a little bit darker up here how you doing good i think i'm okay okay i started to come down into my water a little bit and that's okay too do you paint your sides Yes. I paint my sides too. See? You do. I do. You taught me that. Some people do and some people don't. And then Nick re, re, reassures me. No. Yes. What is it? Constantly. A lot of times Rick will be Rick. Or, Nick will be um, like, can you your sides? I'm like, I did. <laughs> what, what is it? Reprimand? <laughs> it's not reprimand. He doesn't reprimand. Yes, he does. <laughs> <laughs> no, he don't. <gasps> Reminds. Reminds, yes, thank you. Why couldn't I not think that, that word? <laughs> he reprimands me all the time. He's like, did you do your size? Mm -hmm. He reminds you. Yeah, he reminds me. That's what it is. Yes. <laughs> He's a good reminder. He is. Okay. So we lost our horizon line. Did I drip? You did. I caught you. It's all right. 
Thank you. We lost our horizon line, so what we're going to do is just take whatever's on your brush, okay. and we're going to just draw it right back in. So I'm just going to pick and just do a quick little drip of it. Drip. So there's no drip, orange in the line. horizon. Below. Yes, there is a little bit. Yeah, okay. a little bit. It's like you just pick wherever you want it to go, really. Ta-da. Perfect. So the next thing I do is I start to build my blues over here. Okay. And is it darker, lighter? Yeah. Aiden, I'm sorry, I have to keep stepping out. It's kind of like darker, or it goes lighter, and then it goes a little darker. Okay. So either way. You can go super dark, like straight blue down here. When you do that, it just helps separate the water from the sky and people can tell like oh that's the sky and that's the water but this is going blue all the way up to our other stuff right yeah okay. yeah all the rest of this is blue yeah you hear how dry my brush is i was gonna right say now? mine's starting to get dry too <laughs> if you can hear it maybe we can get it hold on let's see if we can get it really into this mic let's see Think they can hear that? <laughs> they should be able to. <laughs> I feel like they could. I'll wet my brush a little bit. Sometimes it helps too if you wet your brush and then you just wet your paint. So Terry, you love watercolors. I'm learning watercolors. I'm I I'm still struggling at it, but I'm learning it. I don't it. think you really struggle. Well, shush, I am, because I throw away a lot more than what I share. You do? I do. But you can always fix it. No, you cannot fix watercolor. <laughs> yes. You cannot fix, I don't know what camera I'm looking at, but I'm telling you right now, you cannot fix watercolor. <laughs> or I can't. Let's go with that. Aunt Terry cannot fix watercolor. But you, okay, so you do really good. So before you started painting, like in the past couple years, did you paint before? No. But you've cake decorated and you're crafty. But just out of my head. No, right. cl no classes. Just, ooh, that looks cool. <laughs> Let's try that. Ooh. It's one of those Pinterest. Mine don't, I find stuff on Pinterest. Nailed it. Yeah, mine, I don't it. nail them, but <laughs> I, come, I come up with my own version of them. No, you do good. So she makes these cute little bookmarks. She and you, and but you do a lot of painting when you're at work, like opal dragonfly. So yes. you do a lot of painting there, and then um, you make these cute bookmarks. And I just recently saw your tags, the tags. Oh for, yes, aren't those cute? Yes. I was so bored, so I was like, oh, let's do tags. Yes. Which and I think I might try to sell. Do not give yourself enough credit. You are such a good painter. Stop. Because of you. No, it's not because it of me. It is because, because Sherry, you, you, you've taught me a lot, girlfriend. You keep practicing. But you keep practicing and you're showing up for your paintings and you're, you're doing good. You're not getting discouraged and I love that. Oh, no, I do get discouraged. Like I said, I throw a lot of stuff away. If you would have seen my painting on another show, it did not look so great. <laughs> Sometimes they don't look great, but... It's okay. We do good. I'm just not liking this. You can always add the yellow back in. Okay. It was yeah. like, because that is just, that's So let that's it dry up. a little bit, and then okay. what we're going to do is we'll add a little bit of that yellow back in. And add a bunch of, um, like, straight blue to the bottom. Like this. Here. And it just helps it look a little bit more like water. So straight up dark blue. Yeah, because it's going to blend in with your, with your wet paint. I do need to bring in a little bit more white and yellow in mine as well through here. So we're going to do that in a minute. I need to keep stepping out to see what the picture looks like. Yeah. A lot of times, too, which is helpful is, again, like you see, I barely have any paint on my brush. What I like to do is I'll pull it from here. 
and then lift, pull and then lift, because then you can get kind of close to your sunset without actually going into it a lot. Clean my brush off. And if you have to hit the bottom, then you can hit the bottom too. Like this. Looks like I'm not talented enough, so I'm gonna put it like that. Nope, not gonna work that way either. Mm -hmm. I'll fix it when I go home. She'll she'll redo the painting when she goes home. <laughs> <laughs> because she can't do anything in twenty six minutes. I can't. I, I cannot. We had this discussion. I can't even your class is down at the studio, both here in Wadsworth and in Florida, are two-hour classes. Yes, we give you two And hours. I've taken classes here, and I've taken classes in Florida. Have I ever finished in two hours? <laughs> no, not until this past time when I did a rug with Abby, and then I took it home and finished it, because I was like, it still ain't done, but. I'm trying to get Abby to come paint on the show, and she says no. She won't do it. She needs to. Right, we need to she see needs her. to. It's just okay. I'm not putting more in there. Because we only got 10 minutes left. I'll fix it yeah. when I go home. I'm going to rinse my brush. Okay. And what I do after that is I then bring in my whites and my yellows again. So I'll take my white and just move it over to my yellow. And you can even add a little orange in there if you wanted to. And then I just bring it back. Do you see how quickly it like put yeah. that right back on top of the water instead of hidden? So you go, your brush is this way. Do again, yep. let me watch. Yep. Okay. But I'm not scared to go over into the blue. I want it to mix a little bit. So I just But don't we soft. want that blue to be a little bit drier? So well, I don't got green? Well, I'm not pushing hard, so I'm not making it green. So try, get rid, look how much paint is on my brush. So this is too much. That's too much. That's a lot of my issue. Too that much. Good. Yeah, that's good. Okay. That's good because you're just going to go light. And one way that you can do that too to get rid of some of that is just start up here and that'll help pull. I use the side to let it pull some of the paint off. Okay. Then you don't feel like you're so pressured into getting getting um, all of the paint off at the right time. Just Although I suppose we do kind of want a little bit of green because the yeah. water is greenish. Yeah, and it doesn't have to be a lot. I mean, you can just kind of go really lightly. And you don't have to add the white in, too. If you wanted to just do, like, straight yellow... You can add just, see how I just did a little tiny bit of straight yellow there? Mm -hmm. And then just kind of feather it in. And it's just enough. <sighs> You're doing good. I'm also going to do that with my orange. Just soften up my orange here. Bring a little orange down into the water. Man, oh man, oh man. I, I feel like, like this I'm is so loud. Not like in it, Jerry Marie. You're doing good. Hang on, I got too much yellow way over there. But you, then you can cover it up with blue. Yeah. So you could let it dry a little bit and then just cover it up with blue and it's going to okay. be perfect. Let's see what colors are me. <laughs> I am like always covered in paint. Some days I don't even paint, and I'm like, what the heck? I didn't even paint. I'm getting a scam need, likely do call. You, I need to make my horizon dark. That's my issue, because I keep going past my horizon. So why don't you take some of this blue, because I was just going to add some of that in, mix it with the blue, and then See how it changed the watercolor? Now you can kind of tell a little bit more. Yeah, but I need to make my horizon. I need to draw. Go I little. need to go all the way. All, see how that's yeah. more defined? 
because I think that is my issue right there is I mean, I've lost my horizon line. Yeah, and another way too is, I mean, you could take a ruler and make a straight line or you could um, change your canvas so if you feel more comfortable going up and down with a straight line, you can do that like this. If you need to switch it. <laughs> I'm fine. You could switch it. I'm fine. <laughs> and then just softly pull some colors in. Now I made mine kind of crooked. It's okay. You did that to make me feel better. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> Yours is fine. Okay, clean off my brush. I'm gonna bring in a little bit more yellow right over that blue again to soften it up. There we go. Perfect. I just added some white through mine just to give it more of that like streaky look. You're doing good, that's perfect. You can even, again, just add some more yellow in and more yellow. I do need to add a little bit more blue up here. I'm just going to throw some white in. I do have a little yellow left on my brush, which is okay, but there we go. Let me what. My sky is about to be green. I'm gonna rinse it. I don't know why I don't bring two cups when I do guest Because I was gonna say you're usually painting by yourself, so you don't <laughs> normally have to. It's so funny that I do that. I'm like, why don't I ever bring two? You could also go at an angle and that helps kind of break up the way that your sky is going to go to if you come at like a look we got four minutes left sherry i told you it goes by so fast like one minute you look at 17 minutes and then mm -hmm. the next minute it's like 14 or four minutes left then you're like dang it so when's your you have ticket trivia tonight tonight so i'll bring Can this back with me, me tonight hints? and no because the man doesn't even tell me until i walk in this is I walk in and he makes copies and he hands an answer sheet to Aiden and he hands an answer sheet to me. And then we go on lot, you know, he's like, okay, let's do our teaser. Interior, what's the topic? I'm like, I don't know, I haven't even looked at this sheet yet. So, yeah, no, I can't give you any hints. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I mean, I not am, that we're trying to cheat or anything. No, I am Roger, clueless as well until I get here. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna have to stream it tonight because we'll be at the studio. doing V's class. Oh, yes. Which will be super fun. Which I was kind of bummed I was missing because I met the Oh my gosh, we studio. have to put the, the oh my, I totally forgot that we have to add the. Sun that I can't do? Well, the sun is easy. The what? sun's easy. Oh, the dock. We, we ain't got time about. to do docks, people. <laughs> we do, I have time, watch she does. this. I'm gonna do it fast. But we're gonna do the sun. The sun is white and yellow. So just take a little bit of white and mix it with yellow. And a different brush. Yeah, I switched my brush. Oh, Lord, child. So what I do is I go in a circle. Yes. I don't touch my thing until I feel like my good circular motion, and then I will hit it. You can also add a bunch of white like this. Let it set, or you can even do it with your finger. When you, did you see how quick it yeah. like changed? Yeah. And now it looks it hazy. It blends in there. It looks mm -hmm. nice. And then I just let it sit. Okay. And it's perfect. It is perfect. I'm going to throw a little soft. I'm just going to stand here and watch. I want to see you get this dock done in two minutes. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. We're going to time <laughs> me. Two minutes. Two minutes. You got 148. And oh, man. Go. Okay. 
Minute black and, and white mix. Black and white mix, go a little bit blacker to make it darker, a little bit whiter to make it lighter. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and angle. So what we do, up, we don't want it to be too much of an angle. So this actually went too far. It went too far at an angle, there we go. Then I'm gonna color it all in, okay? And come up here and come across. Abby's gonna crack up because she's gonna be like, really, Sherry? <laughs> you did that that fast? So we'll be like, yes, yes, I did. Okay, so it's all in the angle of how you're doing it. So we're looking out on the dock, okay? Then we're gonna switch to a smaller brush. Pointy brush, we're gonna take some black and we're gonna add an outline. Add this outline, add this outline. Then you're gonna add your planks. Okay. And this is why she's the instructor. <laughs> then we have to add our posts. So those go straight up. You got 20 seconds, babe. 20 seconds. Then we're going to add our top part here. And you just make it look so easy. <laughs> it's, it Bob is. Ross. It is so easy. Yeah. Look, look at, now we have a great dock. Two and seconds. Everyone can fall off the edge. So now we have to <laughs> sign our paintings. We have to sign them because we want to own them and we want them to be amazing. So all I do is a quick CM. We forgot to put the birds in. Birds are super easy, like that. And just like that, we're done. I'm gonna take a picture of that and finish mine at home. <laughs> <laughs> it goes so fast. Thank you everyone for watching. Check us out again. Thank you. See ya. You are watching WCTV, Wadsworth Community Television.